Welcome back to the Iris AI onboarding tutorial. Now we'll look at how to explore papers in the research map. The topics on the map are contextual categories based on what uh, you searched, but also on what Iris already knows from having read millions of scientific documents. By clicking on it, we zoom in and we see the subtopics and eventually the articles. By hovering over, we see high-level information such as the year published, the title, and the relevance score, which we'll talk more about in another video. When we click on the paper, we can read the abstract, and we have a couple of options. We can bookmark the paper for future, pretty self-explanatory. We can see the full text link, which basically is the source where Iris found the article. And we can take this article and use it as the search for a new map. Let's try that. Now Iris searches and it found the article and we click through to get the new map. You can always find the previous, previous research map by heading over to your account in the top right corner. And then we click on the, the map icon. And here we see the most recent map and this was the first map. And now we're back to where we originally started. The Explore tool is built for a quantity of maps uh, as much as quality of maps. And what we mean by that is rather than spending a lot of time perfecting one map, you should create multiple. We've done several tests with loads of researchers and all the time we found that, find that researchers who create 15 to 20 maps over the course of a few hours are in the best position to, to draw conclusions from their research and get a real good overview.